We're talking trade once again on New Orleans Saints Now by Chat Sports. I am Tom Downey. So Bleacher Report put out a list of one player each team should try to trade away before the season gets underway. The player for the Saints, Marcus Davenport, which I find very interesting, especially because Bleacher Report has previously called Davenport the team's X Factor. Interesting there. On one hand, I kind of get it, right? The Saints went out. They, they, they drafted Peyton Turner in the first round. Some obvious signals that, hey, you know, long term, we got some question marks about our defensive end position. And if we're being honest, I think Davenport himself would say it too. He has not lived up to expectations. Marcus Davenport has been a bit of a disappointment so far. Now, I thought the light had kind of turned on in 2019. 31 tackles. Six sacks, five tackles for loss, 16 hits in 13 games. I'm like, he almost got to seven sacks. He could get to double digits next year. And the, the breakout year was going to happen for the edge rusher opposite uh, uh, Cam Jordan, right? Which it did. It was Trey Hendrickson, who had 13.5 sacks, not Marcus Davenport, who only put up three. Hendrickson's breakout did negatively impact Davenport in terms of his production. The pressure rate, though, has still been good for Marcus Davenport. He's getting some pressures. He's getting in the backfield. He just hasn't finished anywhere near as often as the Saints, frankly, need him to. So I, I'm not out on Davenport. In fact, I'm still going to list him as a starter for this team. Now, Peyton Turner's going to find a role Maybe Carl Granderson can become something. Tuano Passigno as well. Noah Spence at this point, like, you know, whatever. I doubt he's going to be much of anything in the NFL. But the Saints have other options in the event that Marcus Davenport does not continue to grow. But trading him right now would be selling at a probably his lowest value. In fact, I don't think the Saints would be able to get much back to Davenport. And in large part, due to money. The Saints have already picked up Davenport's fifth-year option. Now, this year, he's very cheap. $2.35 million base salary. If it was just that year left, the Saints could find a taker for Davenport, no problem. They might be able to get a pretty good pick back in exchange. However, next year, because that fifth-year option is fully guaranteed now, the Saints, or whatever team he plays for, owes him $9.55 million. That is a lot of money for a player coming off a down season. A player who was better in 2019 than he was in 2020. So I actually don't think the Saints should trade him. You've committed to him for this year and next year. Selling him right now, you're not going to get remotely proper return on your investment. So what do you guys think? Get your votes in for me in the comments section. What to do with Marcus Davenport. Type in T for trade or you can type in K for keep. Get your votes in right now in the comments section. Now, if you guys love the Saints, hit that big red button and subscribe. The more subscribers we get here, Norman Saints now, the more videos we can do for you guys. It is that simple. So if you want more Saints videos, subscribe and then even tell a friend as well.